Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what I consider to be the best truck to buy in 2024 if you care anything about pre-emissions and if you care about price point and what you get for the money. I'll go into the details on why that is right now. So this truck is a 2005 59 Cummins, which you can actually enter to win this truck right now at lnpgear.com. There's a link in the description below where you can just go to the website, lnpgear.com. Anything you buy gets you entered to win this truck plus $5,000 in cash only until September 8th. And if you want 50 times entries, that ends on August 14th. But let me get into the details on this truck and why I think it's the best bang for the buck for the pre-emission truck market right now. But also, if you're wanting a used truck in general and you want the closest thing to modern amenities without all of the emissions garbage, without being regulated for doing, you know, deleting and tuning on a newer truck, this is pretty much all around the best option from what I've ever seen and found. So for anybody that understands the Cummins trucks in general, the 5.9 Cummins platform, whether that be a first gen 12 valve, second gen 12 valve, second gen 24 valve, all the way up to the 5.9 third gens, they are reliable trucks. I mean, very reliable trucks. Every one of those trucks have had very minor, you know, small quirks and things that have given them their own types of issues, most of which are very minor, but, when it comes to this truck here, it was also the first year that they brought back a four door for their pickup trucks. And thank goodness they did because it was only for, I don't know what, three years, four years, they offered a four door truck with the pre emissions platform at a 5.9 before that option was gone forever. And luckily, they were able to add that four door with a short bed or long bed option with a reliable engine from the factory because. Not far after that, you started to get into the early six sevens and the third gens, and they had some some of their own issues and stuff. And again, I'm talking about issues that came about if you were not able to delete your truck and get a lot of stuff taken care of on them. If you are able to do that stuff, that's a little bit different, but I'm talking about stock from factory, best bang for the buck. And these trucks are at a very strange part in the market right now. They give them a very unique playing field. And I'll tell you what that is. I buy a lot of different trucks, okay? I buy first gens, second gens, third gens, we bought fourth gens, fifth gens, all these different things, okay? And when you're talking about pre-emissions, but modern comfort, it does not get much better than a 2000 and let's say three to 2007 5.9 Cummins with four doors and whatever bed configuration you want. But the four door option, it gives you just about all of the comfort features that are required in a newer truck but it gives you the pre-emissions to give you peace of mind. So the reason I give this truck such a high ranking in terms of the most desirable truck to buy, especially when it comes to pre-emissions Cummins trucks or just used Cummins trucks in general, when it comes to these trucks right now, if you know anything about the market, if you look at anything from like 1989 to 07, when it comes to anything from a first gen, second gen 12 valve, second gen 24 valve, or the 5.9 third gen Cummins, these trucks are all kind of in a weird place where the price point is almost the same no matter which of those generations you pick from. It's just a matter of what you prefer. For example, I can go buy a first gen Cummins and if it's in good rust free condition like this truck with the same paint color, I'm gonna pay give or take, depending on the asking price and whether it's a manual or an auto, give or take 20,000 bucks, 20 to $25,000 for a clean, rust free, no paint issues truck. That's what I'm talking about here. This truck right here is gonna run you about the same kind of money, except the difference is, the truck's gonna be about 10 to 14 years newer with four doors, better ride quality with the suspension on these trucks. And you get a lot more features for the money that cater towards comfort. You've got cruise control, Excel, decel. You've got a little bit better gauge cluster setup. You can swap things out for those kinds of like, this is a CarPlay head unit. You do have some cup holders, although they're not the best in the world. You know, you can get stuff like power seats in these and all kinds of different options that, yeah, in some of those models in the older trucks, you could get them, but you definitely get more comfort out of those options and more usability out of the options in this truck than you do those older models. But when it comes to for the money, that's what we're talking about for the price point. You know, it really just depends on what you prefer. But if you're looking for the most comfortable truck you can get for the money that's still reliable, it's still pre-emissions, it's still 5.9, this truck is gonna run you about the same amount of money as a first, second, or any other third gen with the same amount of miles in about the same condition in terms of rust-free, same condition in terms of no problems, no issues. They're gonna run you about the same money. So when it comes to the best truck you can buy, when it comes to those older pickup trucks, 
That's why I give this truck such a high ranking. Now, when we compare to other brands, 06 and older specifically, there's not a lot of trucks in that category from Ford that I would pick other than, of course, you can get an OBS 7.3 or the late body style 7.3, which they're not necessarily like drastically more uncomfortable than this truck. They're probably very, very similar in terms of feel and drivability, stuff like that, options you can get. So that would be my pick from Ford would be that late body style 7.3. When it comes to GM, they had, you know, the LB7s, the LLY, and then I think right at that tail end of that 2005, 2006 era is when they introduced the LBZ. But if you're looking at the price point of one of those trucks from GM, let's say, you're looking at an LBZ, or an LLY, we're gonna go with the LBZ as the most desirable, which is kind of the same with the 5.9 concept. That truck with 130,000 miles and all that stuff, same configuration, no rust, no issues, no nothing, is not going to give you the same bang for the buck as finding one of these in that same condition. It's just a little bit different market. There's a little bit different types of hype around those trucks. And apparently there's people that are just willing to pay a whole lot more money for them, which I don't see the value in, but for the people that do, you know, to each their own. But in terms of the least amount of cost out of pocket for maintenance and fixes and repairs, this truck would still blow an LBZ out of the water in terms of cost of maintenance and repairs. Definitely gonna be on the lower side of the spectrum in terms of out of pocket expenses compared to a GM diesel pickup of the same era. And when it comes to the Ford, the late body style 7.3, they can still come with a crew cab. You can still get leather or cloth. You can still get a short bed or long bed. You can still get a lot of the same options. This truck undoubtedly for about the same price in terms of what you're gonna pay out of pocket for a clean one with 130,000 miles and an automatic transmission, this truck by far will make more power than a 7.3 power stroke from factory. We're talking about factory power and ease of use. This truck will definitely give you more power for about the same comfort and the same options otherwise that you can get from Ford from that era of truck. More power for the same price. And keep in mind, people, we're talking about pre-emissions trucks that are the best price, the best amount of truck and clean truck for the money with the options available from that era, with the power available from that era, I give this truck right at the top of the spectrum in terms of the most bang for the buck. You can probably get the cleanest and the nicest version of this truck and have more money in your pocket and less out of pocket expenses for fixes and repairs compared to a GM and definitely gonna give you more power than a Ford from the same era. That would be my overall argument on why I believe this truck is the best truck to buy in 2024 when it comes to the pre-emissions diesel market. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys got some information out of that that helps you out a little bit when it comes to whether or not you should buy a third gen 5.9 Cummins or whether or not you wanna enter for this one. Definitely gonna be more cost effective to own and maintain than a GM diesel of the same generation. Definitely gonna have more power than a late body style 7.3. I'm not saying it's more reliable than that, but it's definitely gonna be more powerful for the money when it comes to a stock platform um, with about the same comfort and same available options of that time. So thanks so much guys for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. I'll catch you in the next video, peace.